Hello and welcome to DTWG ED Prep. Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through slope of a line. Okay, so I have some questions here. I have, um, you know, uh, we're going to look at how to get the slope from a coordinate grid and also from two points. When you're given two points, when you're not given any points, you're just given a coordinate grid. Okay, so we're going to answer all this and also answer this. I'm also going to be treating the slope formula. Okay, you don't need to cram this, all right? You're already going to have a GED math formula sheet during your exam. You can get a copy of that on our website, etwgedprep.com. Okay, you're going to get a copy of that, etwgedprep.com. You can download it there, all right? And um, so you don't need to cram it, all right? So I'm going to take you through all this. Uh, please, before I do, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And also share this video. You can check our website for other things like free summary notes, study guide, free courses. Um, this particular uh, video is part of a course. Please do check. I'm going to leave the link to that course free. I'm arranging it for you. And also with PDF worksheets, you can also use to answer, you know, practice yourself. All right. So um, let's get on to the video now. What is slope? Okay. So slope is a measure of how steep a line is. Okay, how steep a line is. Either it's like this, like this, how steep, not how straight it is. Okay, but sorry, that's not a straight line. Let me cancel this. Go back. Okay, so how straight a line is, is something like this. But no, we're looking for how steep, that's slope, how steep a line is. Okay, so, and we should note that. On, a on the coordinate grid, if a line goes upward as we move from left to right, okay, like let's say the line starts here, your left, if it moves forward as you go from left, you know, you are going right. If it moves forward as it goes from left to right on a coordinate grid, it means it ha that slope, the slope of this line, okay, you know, this is a line, would have a positive slope, okay? And if the code on the coordinate grid, if it goes downward from left to right, let's say we have something from here, it goes downward from left to right. Okay, you know, this is left, we're also going towards our right. If it goes downward, it means that this line will have a negative slope. Okay, so these are the key things to note in, in your slope. Okay, so and you can find the slope by simply counting the steps up and down and uh, across. Or you can use the slope formula. And you should note that slope is a vertical change over the horizontal change. Don't worry, I'm going to use these examples to explain everything here. Okay? So it's vertical change over horizontal change or rise over run. Now, rise means when it goes from your left upwards to the right is rise. And when it goes from your left downward to the right is run right okay so and what is a uh, vertical change vertical change is like this horizontal change is like this now let's go to this first example here now it says here it says what is the slope of the lines above here now look at the first graph look at this line all right first of all let us determine is this line is the slope going to be negative or positive let me hear your answer is it going to be negative or positive Okay, you say negative, you say positive. Now, look at this. From left to right, how does it go? It goes downward. So it means that this slope will be negative. Okay, now how do we now find the value of the slope? It's always easy for to find the value of the slope if you're going to use the graph method. If you're not going to use the formula, okay, I'm going to apply this formula method to these two questions. If you're going to use the uh, graph method, just trace a triangle. Are you with me? You can take the triangle like this from here that touches the line, all right? A triangle that touch, touches the line, all right? So from here, the vertical change, all right, you're going to count. The vertical change, you're going to count it by, this is one unit, two. So the vertical change, which is this direction, okay? is two units all right and the horizontal change which is this direction you count it towards the line one two can you see that so 
vertical is two, horizontal is two. And remember, our slope is the vertical change over horizontal change. That is V over H, you know, I aggravated V for vertical, H for horizontal. So for this, this will be two divided by two, and which will give us one. We don't stop here. Remember, we said that since the line is going from uh, upward, uh, from left downward to the right, it will be negative. So our answer here will be a negative one. Okay, do you see that? Now, let's go to this. Now, look at this, all right? So this question, look, just let us observe this. Let's check, is this slope, is the slope of this line going to be positive or negative? I'm waiting for your answer. It's going to be positive. Why is it going to be positive? Because from your left to your right, it went upwards. Do you see that? It went upward. So this slope of this line will be positive. Now let's calculate the value. Now to calculate the value easily, let's look at, let's just try to trace a triangle, a good, you know, get good points. Okay. I always advise people don't get points that are like maybe in between. Get a point that is exactly on the, that we can trace it exactly on the, uh, you know, the, the interpretation, the, the numbers here. So here we can take this line here and I would uh, make it, bring it here. So we have a triangle here. So now we can count the vertical points. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have four units on our vertical point. Then on our horizontal, we have one, two, two. So we divide a vertical over horizontal. So we have four divided by two and which will give us two and it's going to be positive. So we are slope of this line is a positive two. Okay. Now let's go here. Now is this line a positive? Is this going to give us a positive slope or negative slope? It's going to give us a negative slope because from the left to right, it went downwards. Okay. There was a rundown. All right. So let us try to get a perfect uh, triangle. I will just pick this. This is very easy for me. Okay. I will trace this triangle here. All right. Okay. Because it falls exactly on a unit, on a, a value here. So to count the vertical, we have one, two, this is two. And here we just have one. So that is two over one. And which is what two. And remember it is what negative. So this is going to be a negative two. Now, Oh, sorry. I have to open this. Let me just drag this up so we see this properly. Okay. Now look at this. This coordinate grid. Now is this is this uh, the slope of the line? Is it going to be a negative or positive? Look at it. It goes upwards. All right. So it's going to be positive. The slope of this line is going to be positive. Now let's try to trace a very beautiful triangle for ourselves so we don't stress ourselves okay so i would trace the triangle um where can i trace from okay let's say i pick uh here yes let me pick here because it stops exactly at this should be a five okay so i'm gonna trace this here draw the triangle here and trace it to this line this is a, an exact point sorry for my lines okay so let's count on the vertical part. We have one, two, so two units. On the horizontal, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six units. So remember, it is vertical over horizontal. So that would be two over six. And that will give us one over three. So that's a positive one over three. So this is slope of this line. So this is how you calculate uh, the slope of the line from your coordinate grid now how do we apply a formula you can also use your formula here okay they use the formula here that's if you don't really understand this how do you go about that all you need to do is just get two points on the line you just need two points two points all right you can pick any two points all right so this point here look for the coordinates if you don't know how to find um you know get the location of a of a point on a coordinate grid, please do watch the previous videos I've done. I've done, I think, three videos before this, and that would really explain how to get the um, location of a point on a coordinate grid. Now, the location of this uh, point here, 
the ordinate pairs are x and y. Remember, this is our x axis. So your value for x here is a positive 2, and your value for y here is a negative 4. So this point, now what would be this point? Uh, your value for both our parentheses x and y our value for x is a negative 3 and our value for y is a positive 1 so you can use these two points and put into this formula to get your slope of the line all right so i would i will quickly do this okay so we have these two points let's say we, you know i want to confirm that we are still going to get this negative 1 when we put these two points into this formula. So let's say this is our first point and second point, okay? So we have negative three comma one and two comma negative four, right? So let's put it here. So this will be x1, y1, x2, y2. So we have y2 will be negative four, negative, that's one, y1 is one, okay? x2 is two, minus this is x uh x1 so minus minus three okay so here we have minus four minus one that will give us a minus five all right let me clean this this off all right and this is two this is negative negative that would be a positive so two plus three that will give us what five and my negative five divided by five will give us a negative one do you see it's the same answer as what we got here so these are two methods you can use, okay, uh, to solve this, okay, just in case you don't know how to use the coordinate grid method. Now, if you're, you're not given a question like this in your GD, you're given like a text base and you're given two points, all right, so we'll solve it using this same formula. Let me quickly clear the whole screen here. So these are uh, two points. This is the first point. Take this as your first point, okay? Take the first point. You know, the way I took the first point here as my first point. So this would be x1, y1, and this would be x2, y2. Okay, the question says, given two points, this and this, what is the slope of the line that passes through this point? Okay, so this is the first point, this is the second point. So y, x1, y1, x2, y2. I always advise students, I tutor personally to always put this um, indicators. So you don't come, you don't mix up your values when you you're plugging into your formula. Okay, just put this. It's going to help you. So what is y two? Y two is ten. So you're going to put ten minus what is y one? Y one is six divided by what is x two? X two is four minus uh, from our formula. X one is what two? So here we have ten minus six. That's four and four minus two. That will give us two. So 2 and 4, that will give us 2. So the slope of this line is a positive 2. Now let's check, calculate the slope of this. It says here, find the slope of the line that passes through points this and this. So this will be x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay? If you don't really understand the x1, y1, x2, y2, please watch the previous videos after this. Okay? Explain the coordinate plane, the coordinate grid, locating points. It's going to help you before you get into this. And all the videos are, I know I've curated them accordingly. Okay? For you to watch in that free video um, course on the website. Okay. So here, I'm going to form a formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And please, your slope is represented as m, okay, in maths, all right? So put in our y2, our y2 is 5 minus our y1 is 1 divided by our x2 is 3, then minus our x1 is a negative 2, okay? So I'll put this here. So here, 5 minus 1 would give us what? A 4. And, you know, this uh, negative will multiply this negative to be a positive. And 5 plus 2 will give us a 5. So we have here a positive slope. Okay, and this is our answer. So one thing I also want to add is in case the GED gives you a question and asks you to find the slope of a straight line. Let us draw a straight line. 
So let's say we have a straight line like this, a horizontal straight line, and it asks you to find the slope. You know, the slope is a measure of how steep a line is. Now, this line isn't steep. As I said from the beginning, it's a, it's a straight line. So what is the slope? Since we can't, you know, get a triangle. So the slope of a horizontal straight line is zero. Now, now, and also the slope of a vertical straight line, when you have a vertical straight line, okay, is undefined, all right? The slope of a vertical straight line is undefined. Please take note of these two things, okay? Because I've seen a GED question where they ask for the slope of a straight line. And in the options, there's a zero, there's also an undefined, okay? So for a horizontal line, okay, the slope is zero. And for a vertical line, the slope is undefined. All right, so uh, this is how you solve, um, um, look for the slope of a line from the coordinate grid and also applying a slope formula. All right, so thank you for staying tuned. Uh, I'm going to be leaving worksheets on the course you can download and practice for free. All right, so thank you, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and also share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. All right, and uh, finally, 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 don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Do give your life to Christ, for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life, and he's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us peace here on earth also. Okay, I forgot to mention you can join our fixed Facebook group and also our Reddit group, you know, to ask questions about the GED in whichever state or country you are, state in the US or country you are in the world. All right, thank you and see you in our next video. You are destined to win in life and also in your test.